In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, peace be upon all of you that follow the right way, the straight way, the way of Allah. And welcome to any non-Muslim searching for the, tru for the truth. I am a very simple Muslim who has some knowledge to share with you and as you can hear I don't master the English language very well but I will do my best and if you have any questions dear viewer please post it as a comment to this video I made this video in response of a gentleman named as investigate Islam and I will call him my friend if he doesn't uh, mind of course so my friend investigate I heard from you that you are in trouble with Arabic language and with the meanings of the word Iqra so let us begin point by point and I hope I will be clear and precise so uh, let's hear you so if you wanna go really to find the real word meaning word not a sentences you go to Islamic dictionaries and you will see there's you know seven or eight approved by all Muslims and no Muslim can say they are not approved and you will see none of them is saying that the word Iqra mean recite not true my friend anyway I'm glad that you accept Arabic dictionaries as a reference as a matter of fact you don't have any choice because it is uh, Arabic language isn't it uh, I will show you that many Arabic dictionaries if not all of them have the meaning of recite under the word Qara'a. Let us show you an example by opening the site of Sakhr, which is a very known site in Arabic language and translation. Uh, you may take the address of the site by pausing the video, this video, and by searching for the verb Qara'a. We choose the result from Al Ghani dictionary, for instance, and we can see that it has many meanings. Uh, one of the meanings is Qara'a ayat min al Quran means reading verses from Quran means spelling the words by looking at on the book on the Quran must have on the book or by heart or by heart which means without reading from the book which means recite so a recite by heart is is there in the dictionary in Al Ghani dictionary it is there in Al Ghani dictionary. Okay, my friend. Let us continue. You know, this is this is Al Qurtubi, and in Al Qurtubi, if you open, you will see in here, you know, that Surah Al Fatiha. You call Al Fatiha. It's called the opening because it's the opening of the book as reading, not reciting. وبها تفتح القراءة. You see the word al -qira'a? You see it? The opening of reading, not opening of reciting. Well, finish the sentence, my friend. It says the opening of reading in prayers, in prayers, fi salawat. And as every Muslim know, in our prayers we recite Quran from our mind by heart and not reading it from the book so it is reciting reading in prayers means reciting go and ask any Arab guy to make one Arabic sentences to you not to me in the meaning of using the word Iqra but as recite this is not a challenge to you you don't speak Arabic this is a challenge to any Arab man he can make the word Iqra come as recite Okay, my friend, look again in, at Al Ghani dictionary. We can read as an example of the meanings of Qara'a. Qara'a alayhi salam means say unto him salam. That doesn't mean he will read the salam from a piece of paper. No, but he will just say it from his mind. So, this is an example of sentence as you asked and from an Arabic dictionary. Also, my friend, if you ask a blind Muslim saying, Iqra li surat al Fatiha means read for me Surat al Fatiha. He will start reciting if even he is blind, so, so he understands Iqra as a recite. Even for example, a Muslim little child who doesn't know reading yet, you say to him, read for me Surat al Fatiha, and he will start reading or reciting right away. Because as I said to you, the word Iqra have to do with the eyes. What do you see in your eye? Yes, and also in other meanings, and look here in Al Ghani dictionary, it has something to do with the tongue, my friend. We read Nataqa, 
nataka, which means spell, spell. So, in other meanings, it has something to do with the tongue. Uh, you know, isn't it funny that the first surah in the Quran doesn't have in the name of Allah? Angel, he came to Muhammad and right away to him saying, recite. Who are you? Why he didn't say to him in the name of Allah? Why in the name Allah came later? No, my friend, it is not funny because he said recite or read in the name of the Lord Allah and why the word read is before in the name of Allah well my friend it is meant and this is my surprise for all of you Christians and Jews the word read came first so that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him fulfill a note prophecy yes a note prophecy the prophecy written in the Bible in the Old Testament in the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 12 it says in the Darby translation Isaiah 29 12 and they give the book to him that cannot read the book means the revelation Al-Wahy the revelation the vision the revelation Al-Wahy so and they give the book to him that cannot read saying read this I pray thee and he said I cannot read so this is this whole story of the first revelation to Prophet Muhammad is written in the Bible and for more information please pause the uh, video and take this link you will hear further detailed information you can go you know you go and learn Arabic as long as you don't know Arabic you know everybody can fool you including me because you don't know Arabic so I advise you to go and learn Arabic to know your religion. Nice advice, and I accept it. Uh, thank you very much, and I advise you back. I advise you back. Go and learn Arabic. Yes, you go and learn Arabic, and stop following non-Arabic Muslims, please. And I say to you, dear viewer, learn Arabic, and you will enter Islam, inshallah, because Islam is the truth. Islam is the way of the eternal life. Even if you can't learn Arabic, ask in your language, any trustful scholar Muslim in your country. Don't ask ones like my friend uh, investigate here, because he is no Muslim, no scholar, and he showed us that he, is, he doesn't know really Arabic. I would like, since Christian Prince is talking about the Quran and the Prophet وسلم, day and night, I would like him to come up to the mic before I talk to him about Islam, and he can pick any topic. He has to come up and read one verse from the Qur'an. The verse I give him, I want him to read it. And then I will let him pick any topic. Okay, now come up, read Surah Yusuf. Verse number 31. Mike is to you. You know what? You guys are very funny. Now let us read the verse and start the debate. I just I wanted to make a point before I read the verse. Let me read the verse now. Please record me. And be a man. Don't stop me. Okay? فَلَمَّا سَمِعَتْ بِمَقْرِهِنَّ أَرْسَلَتْ إِلَيَّهُنَّ وَأَتَدَّتْ لَهُنَّ مُتَّكَأً وَآتَتْ كُلَّ وَاحِدَ مِنْ Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! This man cannot read! Arsalat ilayha hunna! Arsalat ilayha hunna! Did you hear that? <laughs> oh Allah, I, I am so thankful that you came tonight. I am so thankful! <laughs> can't read. Arsalat ilayha hunna. Allahu Akbar. You are a clown, my friend. You are a clown with white hair and a big red nose. Yes, you, 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 you. And the big shoes and the, the purple color outfit. Yes. Huh? Did you see that room? Muslims, did he make a mistake in the Qur'an or not? Or is this Abu Musa just making things up? Type 1 if he made a mistake. 
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Look at that. You made a mistake. You don't know how to read, buddy. You don't know how to read. And these poor people are listening to you. These poor people are listening to you. What kind of credibility do you have? You don't know how to read. You're illiterate, my friend. And you're talking about the Qur'an? Qur'an? 